Highway 30 battle. The two towns are separated by about 15 miles of Highway 30. And there's a lot of pride that goes into this because the kids play baseball together in the summertime and they see each other all the time. And then when you get into the school year uh, where we're on separate teams, they, they want those bragging rights for the rest of the year. Our offensive line is completely rebuilt this year. We only had one returning starter back on the offensive line. Top to bottom, we're the fastest team we've ever had. For a long time, we, we got just pummeled by people. Six, seven, eight years ago, we were getting beat 56 to nothing on a, on a general every Friday night basis. We've kind of started to win some games lately and turn the ship around and been to the playoffs three times in four years now. And our kids expect to win now and when they step out on the field, they're nasty. My wife and I actually welcomed our second baby uh, three days ago. So things have been crazy at the McLaughlin household. God bless my wife, she is an incredible woman. Finding a balance between work and, and home life is tough, but uh, when you have someone like her, it, she makes it a lot easier on me. So preparation started during the summer in weightlifting and everything, and it's been building up every game. We try to get a little bit better. Knowing it's Wood River, though, on our rival, we try to prepare and, and, and then in the game play harder, so hopefully that will transition to a win. I feel really good about the rivalry. It goes back a while. 34, 24, and one. All-time record givens up. It's a pretty cool thing. Been playing that many years. Last year is just a hard-hitting physical game. And I knew I wanted to be in there and someday I would. Friday's my chance. I'd say we're the boss. Miami in the 1980s would say that when they went to kickoff, they, they played like they had a chip on their shoulder and I feel like we played like that too. We had a pretty tough schedule to start with, uh, with some very good teams, teams that are going to be in the quarterfinals. But we are really improving week to week, and that's what our main goal is, to get better. This last week, I, I was fairly happy. We were in the ball game until the fourth quarter. We're progressing in the right direction, we really are. And then hopefully we still, all our goals are in front of us at that point. Every week, I believe we're going to win. Every week, it doesn't matter the opponent. I mean, if you practice and you prepare, like we do, why wouldn't you think you're not going to win? And the boys continually, every week, every day that I'm with them, they continue to buy in what we're, what we're preaching and what we're teaching. As we spend a lot of time up here and I expect a lot out of the boys with lifting and conditioning and well, throughout the summertime, four days a week. And we had great attendance, always. We've got to pick up our end of it because it's, it's been a little one-sided here lately. They've, they've won the last few, few ball games. My own assessment of the team is that they are getting better every week and they've had their share of bumps and bruises and kids that have been knocked away from games for injuries and those kind of things and that's part of it but coach will never use that as an excuse. They've had a tough schedule so far. They've played two of the top ten teams in the state out of the four games that they played and there's another one that was in the state playoffs last year as well. Our kids are fighting and they're, and they're playing hard and you know, our tackling is starting to get a little bit better. Our blocking is getting a little bit better. I like the direction that the team's going. Coach's focus is just get better every day, get better every week, and, and I see that happening. And I see the winner of this game having, having the early driver's seat as far as being able to win the district and get into those state playoffs. You play as hard as you can. Every single snap, every single play, all 11 guys got to go 100%. I will promise you, if guys don't take plays off, guys go 100% all night long, we will win. You guys continue to do that, DJ's not going to call the dogs off on offense, and I'm certainly not going to call them off on defense. This is our night. See those spotlights back there? Never really had it on us before. It helps. Hey, you can either let the shadow ruin the picture, or you can feed off it. Come on in here for a minute. As hard as you can. 48 minutes. Don't you dare let up. He did me on three. One, two, three. He did me. Go. Given Buffalo a six. Wood River Eagles zero. Ball carried by Snell. Scoring for the Buffalo!
Touchdown Eagles. Gibbon Buffaloes 13, Wood River Eagles 7. <laughs> Snell pass complete to number three, Corbin Hines, scoring for the Buffaloes. Oh, he's wide open. Snell's pass complete to Hall. Scoring for the Buffalo. Snell, the ball carrier. Scoring for the Buffalo. Picked up. Pass picked off by Hall, scoring for the Buffalo. Your given Buffaloes, 45, Wood River Eagles, 13. Wyatt Key on the cornerback keeper, scoring for the Buffalo. Ball carried by Jacob Tracy, scoring for the Buffalo. That's the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Your final score, your Gibbon Buffaloes 58, Wood River Eagles 13.